Here's a very interesting question to understand how well you know the formulas and functions working with textual strings in Excel. Camilla is a data analyst at manufacturing plant. She was assigned the task to extract the first name of the plant worker from their full names using Microsoft Excel. What is the correct formula she can use to perform this task? And there are four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D as well as the snippet of data where column A contains full name of the workers and column B has the empty first name column. Do you know which one is the right formula to extract the first name? Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. And I'm moving forward so we can solve this challenge together. As you might have guessed, the correct choice is choice C. It uses left function and provides two argument first argument would be value of cell A2 and second argument would be find function which supplies space as well as argument A2-1. Let's jump to Microsoft Excel to simulate this scenario. You see that in the question section we need to extract full name and John Smith has a space in between John and Smith. Let me go to the answer tab to demonstrate. When I type the formula you see the correct value in cell B2 is John. Let's understand how this formula works. Left function returns the specified number of characters from the beginning of the text. In this case would be the first word and it will return them until we find the space in between John and Smith. We also use find formula as an argument to actually find the space. What's interesting is we need to subtract minus one from the result of the find function. And this is necessary because the left function starts counting from the left side of the string and the find function starts counting from the right side. Now as a last step, let's replicate the formula across all the rows. And you see that it successfully extracted all the values. Were you successful finding the right formula? Please make sure you share your discovery process as well as possible alternative answers in comments. Here is an amazing question we see on the test more and more often. You need to find the correct output of Microsoft Excel function and you are presented with the statement equal sign floor and then in parentheses 64,5. You have four different choices to select from. Choice A 60, choice B 65, choice C 63 and last but not least choice D 70. Take a close look refresh your memory and see if you can select the right answer. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Let's jump to Microsoft Excel where we can solve this together. Let's put the floor function into the cell B2. Once we type the function, you see that it accepts two arguments. The first argument is the number. The second argument is significance. The floor function is used to round number down to the nearest integer based on the multiple of the significance. So the correct answer here is 60, which is represented by choice A. Did you figure it out correctly? Or did you have a different answer? Please make sure to post your answer and solution as well as rationale in comments. Here's an amazing question to test your knowledge of Microsoft Excel features. Purchase orders, POs, were mistakenly created with 2021 financial year ID. Which Excel feature allows you to change all purchase order starting numbers from 2021 to 2022? And you have four different choices. Choice A, consolidate. Choice B, flash fill. Choice C, goal sick. And last but not least, choice D, find and replace. Take a close look at the purchase order numbers in Microsoft Excel and see which feature would you choose to complete the action. Did you figure it out? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I believe the correct answer here is choice D, find and replace, because find and replace feature in Microsoft Excel allows users to quickly search for and replace specific text or values in the worksheet. Let's jump to Microsoft Excel so I can show you an example. Here in Excel, I try to emulate the scenario from the question. In column A, you see purchase order numbers. To replace 2021 as a leading year, you need to navigate on the Home tab into the Find and Select area 
and click replace. You're presented with find and replace box. And here we need to type in 2021 in find what and replace it with 2022. I am going to demonstrate you two ways of doing the replace. Let's find the first value first. We click find next and Microsoft Excel pointed us to the row two. Here we can click replace and it will replace the value in the row two from 2021 to 2022. We can also use the feature called replace all, which will complete remaining nine replacements. So I believe the correct answer here is choice D, find and replace. Do you have a better solution? Please make sure to post your answer in comments. Here is an interesting question you frequently see on the test. You're presented with a set of data and you need to add serial number column to this data using Excel formula. In our case, we are presented with student grades information. And for each student, we need to add a serial number. Do you know how to do it? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can complete the steps in the simulator. And I am going to move forward and reveal the solution for you. The first step here is to add a new column. Assuming that we will be adding the data to the left of the first column, the easiest way to add a new column is to do a right mouse click, click insert, and this action adds a new column. We will give new column a name serial number and extend the column so we can see the data. The first number in the series, in my case, will be one, but you can use pretty much any number. In the next row, we will add a formula and our formula will be very simple we will add the value of the first serial number, plus one, or you can use any different formula depending on your business circumstances. Once you hit enter, you see that the second value is two. And now I can expand this formula for the entire data set and you will see that the numbers are increasing. Keep in mind that this number might be different from the actual row ID. And if you use different formula, the number will be different for sure. And then the last step here is to apply formatting to the column. To do this, we need to select the column, navigate to the Home tab, select Format Painter, and then apply it to the newly created column. Very frequently on the test, you get a question about usage of formulas in Excel. And sometimes you get a questions on how to display data in the status bar. For example, let's look at the question how to display minimum, maximum, count, and average in Excel status bar. You are presented with the data set of the student grades, which displays student names and their grades in physics, math, chemistry, and biology. Do you know how to add auto calculations for their grades in the status bar? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and share the answer with you. To accomplish this task, as you might have guessed, all properties related to the status bar can be enabled by right mouse clicking on the status bar itself. This presents us with the formulas for average, count, numerical count, minimum, maximum, and sum. In our case, we need to select average, count, minimum, and maximum, and you will see that all these values now show on the status bar. Do you have an alternative way to solve it? Please make sure to post it in comments. Can you tell us how many questions did you answer correctly? Please make sure to post in the comment section of this video to share with others. And now let's continue to get you ready for the test. A lot of times you might be presented with the question that tests your knowledge of Microsoft Excel user interface. Let's look at the sample question from the recent test. How to move the data set three cells down and one cell to the left in Microsoft Excel efficiently? You are presented with the data set of the student names. It contains names of the students as well as their grades in physics, math, chemistry, and biology. Do you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and reveal the final answer to you. Obviously, there are multiple ways to move the data in Excel. One of the easiest ways 
is to select the data set and then in the home tab use the cut function identify the new location by putting the cursor in the upper right corner of the new location and pasting the data in the new location but the question is is this way the most efficient way as the question asks let me undo this operation by using the undo button and I'll show you another way which might be more efficient I'm going to use the escape button on the keyboard to unselect the range select it again and the trick here is when you move the cursor to the end of the range you are able to drag and drop the range I'm going to drag and drop it three cells down and one cell to the right and position it in the new location do you know any other solutions please make sure to share them in comments here's the question which tests your knowledge of modern Excel formulas you're presented with the list of student names in the column A and you need to decide which Excel formula should you use to retrieve the value of the row with ID 7 the value in this row is Prisha Patel you have four different choices to select the correct formula choice A formula row choice B formula find choice C formula index and choice D formula match do you see the answer give yourself a little bit of time maybe 10 to 20 seconds see if you can pause this video to come up with the right solution ready or not I'm going to move forward and share with you the correct solution to this problem as you might have figured out the correct formula is index in fact index returns a value of the element in the table or in the array selected by the row and column number indexes when entering index formula you need to enter the array and provide the row number the column number is optional in the case of this particular question to retrieve the value of the row with id 6 you need to enter the index formula and then select an array of values starting from the row with id 2 and then enter the value 6 because our array of values starts with the actual values it was the title of this range once you hit enter you see that the correct value was selected by the formula do you see any other solutions do you know any other formulas that will help accomplish this task please make sure to post them in comments here's the very interesting problem where you need to determine the value using index and match excel formulas specifically you need to determine the math grade for Prisha Patel you're presented with the range of values which includes student name physics math chemistry and biology grades and you need to enter the formula to calculate the value do you see the solution do you know how to solve it let's move forward and solve this challenge together we can solve this challenge in two steps in step one we need to use the match formula to identify the ID for the row with Prisha's name first we need to select what we're looking for in this case we can either type the full name for Prisha or we can use asterisks and just type the first name second value for the match formula is the range we need to select the range from a2 to a11 and third value we need to specify what type of match in our case we will be doing exact match where we need to select the value of zero once completed formula returns value of six which represents id for the row where Prisha's name is located once we've identified the row we need to find the second column in this row to return the math grade for Prisha. to do this we start typing the formula select the range b2 to e11 to identify all the grades then enter the match formula to help identify the row where Prisha's information is located and then we enter the column ID and looks like I mistyped the formula and entered extra apostrophe once I remove this extra apostrophe and hit enter the correct value is returned which is the math grade for Prisha the final formula looks like this hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test here's an interesting question which we started to see on the test more and more often there are multiple hidden worksheets in the current excel workbook you need to demonstrate how you can unhide all the worksheets that contain string n2 in the title 
and you need to use Excel Simulator to complete the steps. Let me go ahead, move forward and reveal the solution for you. To accomplish this task, you need to right click on the Sheets portion in Excel and select Unhide. Once you do this, you see all hidden tabs or all hidden worksheets in Microsoft Excel. Our goal is to select all the worksheets that contain N2 in the title. You can hold the Shift button and select four worksheets in my case. And once you do that, you can click OK. And you can see that now all the worksheets with the N2 in the title are visible. If you have an alternative solution to this challenge, make sure to post it in comments. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.